welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. For those of you that don't know, I am doing dealing with a really, really stupid issue right now, and that's not the rust. What I am dealing with is my truck does not have an antenna base, and it's really annoying because I get really, really, really crappy radio selection when I'm driving around. I mean, I don't even get like local stuff most of the time unless I'm like right next to the radio station. I don't know why somebody decided to take the antenna base out. But the antenna base is out except for the actual antenna cable itself is right back here. Now I ordered a OEM antenna base and it came like this. I was kind of hoping that it was going to be an ex a, a whole entire antenna run like you know like six feet long or eight feet long that I could run an entire cable all the way back but this is what I got. So for a short period of time here if I can try and get my radio back we're gonna go ahead and splice this and I'm gonna show you exactly how to splice this because maybe you don't want to go through the firewall because going through the firewall is a pain. You gotta take the hood off, your windshield wipers off, you gotta take your dash piece off or the piece that goes underneath the windshield wipers. You gotta take all that off and able to get the access to the firewall. And then there's this really dumb rubber grommet in there that you gotta take care of. So it's kind of a pain. It's not hard to do, but it's kind of a pain. So if you wanna avoid that, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that by this. Now the biggest pain is going to be trying to strip this out in this small location because I don't have much to work with right here. I will be using Wagos. if you guys don't know what these are. These are the 221 series. They are 12 to 24 gauge, I believe it is. They are a clear body with a snap lever. And these things are absolutely awesome, you guys. This is this is what you should be using 100%. I will leave a link below for these if I can, if I can find them somewhere other than Electrical Supply House. These are honestly the future of basically realistically replacing wire nuts as well as butt splices, everything. These are just king. Now when you're stripping this out, you're gonna wanna make sure that you strip off the black rubber coating, and then you're gonna have a silver steel um, looking aluminum conductor as a shield, you could say, is kind of what it is because it really is a shield. That is going to be your negative. And then you're gonna have the little white little piece in the middle there, and you're gonna strip that back to get to your center wire, which you're gonna have one wire, and that's gonna be a copper wire, and that's going to be your positive. I know, I know, I know I'm an electrician. Why do I have these, you know, kind of crappy, cheapo strippers? Well, it's because I keep these in my toolbox because they're insulated crimpers, but I left all my tools at the job site so I don't have my nice strippers to go ahead and strip everything out, my side cutters, dikes to cut what I need to cut. So the job's a little bit more tricky using these really garbage tools. But I want to show you guys first what my radio is like without hooking up this antenna base and then after I hook up the antenna base and show you what it's like. This just pops off just like that. There are three little tabs here. Now we can go ahead and stick that in there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this that I did with this. All right, this is gonna be a lot easier because this is a lot closer. So now I'm, I can go ahead and just do this. And there is that, coat, that shield. And it's actually a copper shield, you guys, so I apologize, I am wrong. I thought it was um, an, like an aluminum shield, because that's typically what you see, but apparently it's a copper shield, and I did not know that. So once again, I apologize for being wrong. So there is that, which we can trim down, you know. And now we're gonna strip out our positive, because again, the shield is your negative, the center conductor is your positive. That simple, you guys. Now again, we're going negative to negative, positive to positive. Just like that. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. By the way, don't get this radio. All right, so you guys are gonna kinda just have to trust me on this that it actually worked because I can't have any copyright going on this video, so the music playing on the radio, the music playing on the video, can't it can't happen. So 
it worked. It was great. It's a nice little trick for anybody that's kind of in a pinch. I do plan on running a brand new cable with a brand new base, all the nine, all the 10, nine yards, whatever you want to say. When I put in a new head unit, because I hate that head unit, I'm going to be putting in a head unit, a new one here shortly. So stay tuned for that as well as please go ahead and like this video if you this helped you at all or if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you want to see more. But like I said, more than likely a lot of you guys just skipped through this video. I will be running a new one. And I got a little secret for you guys. This truck is going to be looking pretty bare here pretty soon. So we've got a lot coming. And I appreciate all the support, everyone. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Quick thing here. If you're going to do this or if you're going to do bite spices or anything like that, if you're going to do a splicing your in Quick thing here, if you're going to splice your antenna like this, whether it's with wire nuts, butt splices, waggles, however you want to do it, scotch locks, please, please, please tape it up. Um, you're going to want to tape this up just because. This is not a permanent solution. This is only a temporary solution. Also, remember that.